Hey guys, it's Michaela here. Today I'm going to be recycling some of my old canvases just to reuse them. Now one of the problems I face when trying to reuse canvases is I can't remember if the painting was oil or acrylic and that's actually really important. The rule is you can paint oil over oil or oil over acrylic. You can't paint acrylic over oil because eventually the oil paint will eat away at the acrylic and kind of destroy the painting that you painted over it. Even if you use a primer such as this, it still has an acrylic base so the oil paints will also eat away at this. How do you tell if your painting is oil or acrylic? Well for the example I'm going to use is this painting. I painted this my senior year of high school so a little over a year ago. I really like the background and the colors and I want to use that as a base background for an acrylic painting. But I wasn't 100% positive that this was originally acrylic and not oil. I was pretty sure but I didn't want to go through the effort of having a nice painting and then falling in love with it and then it eventually being destroyed. Some ways you can tell if a painting is oil or acrylic is just by looking at it. Acrylic will normally turn out flatter, it will have less texture to it, it will also be more plasticky, you know. Where oil paintings, they'll have, they'll be thicker, they'll have more of the texture that you added to them. Except it's still pretty hard to tell, in my opinion. I need some other methods to find out if this is acrylic or oil. So I did some research, and the first thing I found was acrylic paint will rub away with rubbing alcohol, which is pretty convenient. Rubbing alcohol is pretty cheap. A lot of people have them in their house, except I don't. <laughs> we used to have it, and I looked around and couldn't find any. But I have hand sanitizer, and hand sanitizer is pretty similar to rubbing alcohol, and I did some research and tested it out, and hand sanitizer will have the same effect. So either find some rubbing alcohol or find some hand sanitizer. The one I'm using actually has aloe in it, and I'm not sure, quite sure how that will affect it. If it's harder to rub away the acrylic, if it makes it easier, I would have to do some experiments and trials. But I don't really have time for that right now. I'll probably figure it out with time just from doing it with experience. But for now, this is all I know. First, I'm just going to be taking my sanitizer and little cotton swabs. That's all you're going to need, really. I'm just going to pour a little bit onto the swab. Then rub it in a little bit. And then start rubbing on a piece of the painting that you won't mind if it's gone. So I really like this part. I kind of like the colors of the shirt. I don't really like this face up here and that mouth. And they're going to be very vibrant under the new painting I'm going to do. So I'm going to rub those away a little bit. And as you can see, it's already showing some pink on here. So you know it's acrylic. You could stop right there if you wanted to. But like I said, it's going to be very vibrant under my painting, so I'm just going to try to chip away at this a little bit. My main concern is the red lipstick here, because that's very vibrant, and also just the vibrant lines. So where the hair meets the face, it's pretty distinguished. And these white lines, even though I like the shirt, these white lines are also pretty distinguished. Now obviously that didn't get too much of the paint off. As you could see, you can still see what the painting was. If you're trying to completely clear away the canvas, I would not recommend using this method. 
I don't know if the rubbing alcohol or just normal sanitizer without aloe will do a greater job than this has done, but even still, I wouldn't recommend just doing that because one, there will be fumes and it's not going to be good for you. Even just doing this, you want to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. If you're doing anything with art ever, you want to be in a well-ventilated area. Plus, it's just going to take a lot of time and resources. You're going to use up all of your rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer. What I would do is I would test out, make sure that it is acrylic paint, and then use a primer if you just want to completely cover up the canvas again. But importantly, you want to wait for the rubbing alcohol or the sanitizer to dry because I can still see there there's a little bit still on there and once it dries I'll be fine to paint on it again. But you don't want to be painting and then accidentally mix it in with your paint. That will be bad so just wait for it to dry and then either start painting or start priming and get to work.
guys, so now that that's finished, I'm going to show you the finished product. Here it is, and I'm definitely a lot happier with this than I was with the original painting. You know, I had painted that a year ago, so that was okay. That was the level I was at then. Sometimes you get nostalgic and you want to keep every single painting you've ever painted. I have tons of paintings stacked in storage, and that's just canvases I could be using over again. I think I'm going to call this Bloom, or something with punny flower reference. And I may even try to take a photo of this and maybe start an online gallery. I've tried starting online galleries before, but I've never really stuck with them. And now that I'm trying to stick with my YouTube channel more, maybe I'll be encouraged to also stick with an art gallery, start getting commissions and making my own portfolio. So I'll make a video of that in the upcoming future. Harry thinks he's terrifying. Anyway, thanks for watching and come back next Friday. See ya!